Using this flat 200F evaporator from Frigiboat, uh, we'll describe the two different types of cap tube blockages you might come across. At the end of every 10 foot line set on Frigiboat evaporators, there are two couplings and they're attached to the tubes. The larger tube is the suction line from the evaporator back to the compressor and carries the low pressure uh, gas back to the compressor and the liquid line, the smaller of the two, carries the liquid line under high pressure to the evaporator from the compressor condensing unit. The liquid line soon transforms into the capillary tube, the cap tube, and uh, it may or may not run around the, uh, the suction line for a while, but then is taken inside the suction line and from there on carries on for the length of the tubing to the evaporator where there will be something like this item here, which is a separator, and that separates out the cap tube and the, the suction line which goes onto the suction port from the evaporator, the capillary tube, any excess gets wrapped around but then it is taken inside the, the injection tube into the evaporator and there it is onto the, the, uh, under the um, low side of the system, the low pressure and so it will be boiling from here on, boiling at a very low temperature and causing the cooling effect. Due to the very fine bore inside the cap tube, any piece of debris or any type of uh, small particle that's in the liquid line gets forced onto the end of the cap tube, which is somewhere in this section here, and will most likely clog it. Evacuating the system will not clear any debris from the cap tube. You will have to install a cap tube filter in this area here. We have a kit at Coastal Climate Control available for that. It must be uh, done by a technician, and that will uh, eliminate the problem and stop any further ones if there's any further debris around. If there's a blockage at this end of the cap tube, uh, it's typically from moisture or wax or clathrate hydrites or some other things that happen inside refrigeration systems we're not quite sure of yet. Uh, but typically it's moisture that comes down in the oil from the compressor. Evacuating the system will not remove moisture from the oil. You will have to um, run nitrogen through it as well and heat up this area of the uh, cap tube and the assembly so that you get rid of any moisture out of the oil if it's trapped in there. If you have the situation where the system seems to run for a couple of minutes and then stop and you can see some frosting starting on the plate uh, and hear a little bit of gurgling but then it stops within a couple of minutes typically then that's an indication that there's probably moisture in the oil in this area and once it gets down to a certain temperature it will freeze and block the end of the cap tube. That can be eradicated by heating this area very gently with hot rags or with a hairdryer on low setting and trying to move that moisture on through the system. It is only a few grains so it's a minute amount of moisture but it causes a lot of problems. So some gentle heat here, move it on, you may have to do it a few times and uh, eventually it'll get through to the uh, filter dryer somewhere and um, hopefully that's the end of the problem.